Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Do you think the Holy Spirit can work in someone who isn't even a Christian? Perhaps that question can be answered by Gamaliel. This week we're looking at some of the ways the Holy Spirit acted in and among the people described in the book of Acts and in the very early days of the church, and Gamaliel appears almost at the very beginning. You'll find Gamaliel's story in Acts 5. It all starts with Peter and John getting in trouble. This all happens soon after the day of Pentecost, and Peter and John are so filled with the Holy Spirit that they are out in the temple courtyard preaching about Jesus. They gathered a crowd, and the Bible even says that they were there day after day, and people would even bring the sick and infirmed out so that if Peter's shadow fell on them, they might be healed. Finally, it was all causing such a commotion that the priest put them in jail. But that night, the angel of the Lord brought them out, and the next morning, there they were in the temple again, preaching about Jesus. The priests arrested them again and said, We gave you strict orders not to teach in the name of Jesus or mention him, and yet you did it again. Peter answered with a great line, we must obey God rather than any human authority. Well, when they all heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill Peter and John. And that's when Gamaliel steps forward. Gamaliel was a Pharisee who was respected by everyone, and his counsel on this day was indeed wise. He said, We've had people in the past who claimed to be the Messiah and who gathered followings. In every case they died, and the movement withered away to nothing. So be careful what you do with these men, and let them alone. If this plan or undertaking is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them, and you may even be found fighting against God. That was good guidance. Guidance, I think, that was given to Gamaliel by the Holy Spirit. And what Gamaliel knew was that we can't always know what God might be doing. And we don't want to get so caught up in reacting to something quickly that we fail to respond to the movement of the Holy Spirit among us. And I think that same thing applies today as well. Many of us react quickly to things we experience or to things we learn in the news and maybe a little more patience, a little more responding, a little more let's wait and see what God might be doing is called for. Gamaliel's wisdom applies to a lot of life and I think his wisdom was a gift of the Holy Spirit. You might be wondering how the Bible story ends. Well, they actually listened to Gamaliel, and they brought Peter and John back in, flogged them, and let them go. But in all of this, don't miss the point that God was at work through someone who wasn't even a believer or a Christian to pave the way for the building of the church and the spread of the gospel. May we have more Gamaliels in our lives, urging us to wait for God. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.